It was just before the festival of Pesach, and Yeshua knew that the time had come for him to pass from this world to the Father. Having loved his own people in the world, he loved them to the end. They were at supper, and the adversary had already put the desire to betray him into the heart of Yehuda ben Shimon from Kriot. Yeshua was aware that the Father had put everything in his power, and that he had to come from God and was returning to God. So he rose from the table, removed his outer garments, and wrapped the towel around his waist. Then he poured some water into a basin and began to wash the feet of the Talmudim and wipe, all, wipe them off the towel wrapped around him. He came to Shimon Kepha, who said to him, Lord, you are washing my feet? Yeshua answered him, You don't understand yet what I am doing, but in time you will understand. No, said Kepha, you will never wash my feet. Yeshua answered him, If I don't wash you, you have no share with me. Lord, Shimon Kepha replied, Not only my feet, but my hands and my head too. Yeshua said to him, man who has been both has had a bath doesn't need to wash except his feet. His body is already clean. You people are clean, but not all of you. He knew that who was betraying him. This is why he said, not all of you are clean. After he had washed their feet, taken back his clothes and returned to the table, he said to them, do you understand what I have done to you? You called me rabbi and Lord, and you are right because I am. Now, if I the Lord and Rabbi have washed your feet, you also should wash each other's feet. For I have set you an example, so that you may do as I have done to you. Yes, indeed, I tell you, a slave is not greater than his master, nor is an emissary greater than one who has sent him. If you do know these things, you will be blessed if you do them. I'm not talking to all of you. I know which one which ones I have chosen, but the words on the Tanakh must be fulfilled to say, that say, the one eating my bread has turned against me. I'm telling you now before it happens, so that when it does happen, you may believe that I am who I say I am. Yes, indeed, I tell you that a person who receives someone I send receives me, and that if anyone who receives me receives the one who sent me, after saying this, Yeshua, in deep anguish of spirit, declared, Yes, indeed, I tell you that one of you will betray me. The Talmudim started, stared at one another, totally mystified. Whom could he mean? One of his Talmudim, the one Yeshua particularly loved, was reclining close beside him. So Shaman Kepha mentioned to him and said, Ask which one he's talking about. Leaning against Yeshua's chest, he asked Yeshua, Lord, who is it? Yeshua answered, It's the one to whom I give this piece of matzah after I dip it in the dish. So he dipped the piece of matzah and gave it to Yehuda ben Shimon from Kriot. As soon as Yehuda took the piece of matzah, the adversary went into him. What are you doing? Do it quickly, Yeshua said to him. But no one at the table understood what he had said to him. Some thought, since Yehuda was in charge of the common purse. Yeshua was telling him, but what you need for the festival, or telling him to get something to the poor. As soon as he had taken the piece of matzah, Yehuda went out, and it was night. After Yehuda had left, Yeshua said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified. God has been glorified in him. If the Son has glorified God, God will himself glorify the Son, and will do so without delay. Little children. I will be with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and, as I said to the Judeans, where I am going, you cannot come. Now I say it to you as well. I am giving you a new covenant, a new command. And you keep on loving each other in the same way that I have loved you. You are also to keep on loving each other. Everyone will know that you are my Talbadim by the fact that that you have love for each other. Shimon Kepha said to him, Lord, where are you going? Yeshua answered, Where I'm going, you cannot follow me, but you will follow later. Lord, Kepha said to him, Why can't I follow you now? 
I will lay down my life for you. Yeshua answered, You will lay down your life for me? Yes, indeed. I tell you, before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. Don't let yourselves be disturbed. Trust in God and trust in me. In my Father's house are many places to live. If there weren't so, I, wouldn't, I would have told you because I am going there to prepare a place for you. Since I am going and preparing a place for you, I will return to take you with me so that where I am, you may be also. Furthermore, you know where I'm going and you know the way there. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you're going, so how can we know the way? Yeshua said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Because you have known me, you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him. In fact, you have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and it will be enough for us. Yeshua replied to him, Have I been with you so long without your knowing me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. So how can you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I'm united with the Father and the Father united with me? What I am telling you, I'm not saying on my own initiative. The Father living in me is doing his own works. Trust me that I'm united with the Father and the Father united with me. But if you can't, then trust because of the works themselves. Yes, indeed, I tell you that whoever trusts in me will also do the works I do. Indeed, he will do greater ones because I am going to the Father. In fact, whatever you ask in my name, I will do so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask me for something in my name, I will do it. If you love me, you will keep my commands. I will ask my Father, and he will give you another comforting counselor like me, the Spirit of Truth, to be with you forever. The world cannot receive him because it neither sees nor knows him. You know him because he is staying with you and will be united with you. I will not leave you orphans. I am coming to you in just a little while. The world will no longer see me, but you will see me. Because I live, you, you too will live. When that day comes, you will know that I am united with my Father and you with me and I with you. Whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. And the one who loves me will be loved by my Father and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Yehuda, not the one from Creot, said to him, What has happened, Lord, that you are about to reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Yeshua answered him, If someone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and will come to him and make our home with him. Someone who doesn't love me doesn't keep my words, and the word you are hearing is not my own, but the Father who sent me. I told... I have told you these things while I'm still with you, but the counselor, the Ruach HaKodesh, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything. That is, he will remind you of everything I have said to you. What I am leaving with you is shalom. I am giving you my shalom. I don't give it the way the world gives. Don't let yourselves be upset or frightened. You heard me tell you, I am leaving, and I will come back to you. If you loved me, you would have been glad that I am going to the Father, because the Father is greater than I. Also, I have said it to you now before it happens, so that when it does happen, you will trust. I won't be talking with you much longer because the ruler of this world is coming. He has no claim on me. Rather, this is happening so that the, word, so that the world may know that I love the Father and that I do as the Father has commanded me. Get up, let's get going. I am the true I am the real vine, and my father is the gardener. Every branch is a part of me but fails to bear fruit he cuts off, and every branch that does bear, bear fruit he prunes, so that it may bear more fruit. Right now, because of the word which I have spoken to you, you are pruned. Stay united with me, as I will with you, for just as the branch can't put forth fruit by a, by itself apart from the vine, so you can't bear fruit apart from me. 
I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who stay united with me and I with them are the ones who bear much fruit, because apart from me you can't do a thing. Unless a person remains united with me, he is thrown away like a branch and dries up. Such branches are gathered and thrown into the fire where they are burned up. If you remain united with me and my words with you, then ask whatever you want and it will happen for you. This is how my Father is glorified. And you're bearing much fruit. This is how you will prove to be my Talmudim. Just as my Father has loved me, I too have loved you. So stay in my love. If you keep my commands, you will stay in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commands and stay in his love. I have said this to you that, so that your joy may be so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is my command, that you keep on loving each other just as I have loved you. No one has greater love than a person who lays down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave doesn't know what his master is about, but I have called you friends because everything I have heard from my father I have made known to you. You did not choose me, I chose you and have commissioned you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This is what I command you, keep loving each other. If the world hates you, understand that it hated me first. If you belong to the world, the world would have loved its own. But because you do not belong to the world, on the contrary, I have picked you out of the world. Therefore, the world hates you. Remember what I told you. A slave is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you too. If they keep my word, if they keep my word, they will keep yours too. But they will do all this to you on my account, because they don't know the one who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would be guilty of sin, but now they have no excuse for their sin. Whoever hates, whoever hates me hates my father also. If I do not know in his in their present works, which no one else ever did, they would not be guilty of sin. But now they have seen them and have hated both me and my father. But this has happened that the order to be fulfilled the words in their Torah, which read, they hated me for no reason at all. When the counselor comes, whom I will send you from the father, the spirit of truth, who keeps going out from the Father. He will testify on my behalf, and your testimony, and you testify too, because you have been with me from the outset. 